people here at the trademark hotel just look at them the maroon couple holding hands eh mwapendeza asante hey mbaka you saying asante the same time eh? <laughs> <laughs> this is what 10 years does eh in yes, marriage eh? yes. mbaka some people are looking at you that still telling you why don't you get married yeah. yet you already are yes uh huh yeah. Okay, so now when you two are meeting, I, I remember I heard you saying that, you know, you came from, you went to LCVR, Loretta Convert from Songari, and then but you are from where? Nakel Primary School. Nakel Primary School, Ongatarongai, Kware. It was different. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, you know, when, 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 when she was telling me where, you know, telling me about her background, and the school she went to, and I, I was like, wow, well, here. Yeah. Ligi yeah. is tofauti. Yeah. Because you know, sometimes you would go to school, come back home, there's no food. Uh, still, get yourself strong, go back to school. Yeah. Finish the evening, come, uh, maybe you'll have some, uh, dinner and that's all. Mm. Supper. Mm -hmm. Supper. Supper. No, dinner, no, is, no, dinner. Dinner. dinner is this other side. Dinner is this other side. <laughs> 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 Supper. Mm -hmm. and, then, and, and then life moves on, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Being the, the second born from the family of three. Then uh, mm. that's how my life was. Yeah. And then I come, she tells me they used she used to be dropped. Her and her siblings, they were they used to be dropped in school. Yeah. That was different. Mm. Yeah. That was mm. different. That was different. Mm. Yeah. Because you're telling me you grew up in the, in the slums and then you grew up in the suburbs. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Slums, suburbs, um, yeah. Kware. Yeah. It's a good place mm. uh, because it's where I came from. Yeah. You know, mm. Sometimes you don't choose where you want to come from. Yeah. 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 Mm. It, you don't, you don't, you don't have a choice. Yes. But you just find yourself. But out of that, uh, this is Tony Cruz. Yes. Tony yeah. Cruz. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Carol Tony here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And now, for, for now, when you two are now about to get married, eh? mm. and then how how are things playing out because of your your different backgrounds, and then here you are, you're mm -hmm. just about to get married. Yeah. Uh, I think the fact, the fact that I knew where he, from the very first day I saw him, I saw him in that slum, because he was singing in a church and had gone for there for, 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 to visit that yeah. church. Yeah. So I knew all along where he had come from, but I never knew the intensity of the matter until when now we started getting to know each other and he told me now he wants to introduce me to his parents' home. Um, uh, I think also I, I needed also to work on, God needed to have time for us to, for him to work on me. Uh, I, to say the truth, um, like my siblings and all, they are married off to rich, rich people. So, like, uh, family did not necessarily, uh, they don't really accept the fact where he's come from. To a point, we had to hide it. And even the pastor, the time for paying the dowry, he had to preach and tell people of our family, don't look at this man right now. One day he'll come driving a Mercedes Benz to our home. So it really encouraged them to know that, yes, if this is God, time will tell. Mm. And for sure, time is really telling. Yeah. And for so, me, for me, the friends, the friends were like, "Eh, hey, Ukoshua, yeah. like where you're going?" Yeah. You know, when we, we see her, uh, they thought she's high maintenance. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, the way she, the way I found her, and the way she still is today, she 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 dresses well. She used to dress well, you know, matching everything, shoes mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, they looked at me, and of course, my boys, they were like, yeah. So they were like, "Hey, Utaiza, Utaiza, no. yeah, but." Yeah. Uh, I purposed. Yeah. Mm. Yes. And I like the fact that she, she, she didn't see me then. Yeah. She saw me in the future. Wow. Yeah, wow. it's true. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so she's so destiny. She's so destiny. And she yeah. saw this destiny from Kitambo. From oh, yeah. Kitambo. <laughs> For sure. Six years even before mm. I saw her, mm -hmm. I met her. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Usually a saying I say, marry a man with a vision, you may one day see him in the television. So it's just about hey, vision. No, 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 no. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey. <laughs> say that again. Marry a man with a vision, you may one day see him in the television. Okay. And for sure, that, that, I've seen him now singing in the television. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then it was just a vision saying, one day, yes. one day I know I'll be able to make it in yes. life. Yes. And, I, and I knew, um, again, also in that place of prayer and working with God, I knew my purpose to get married was to push a man into his destiny. So I knew the person God would bring me, I'm assigned to him to pray for him until I see destiny coming to pass. Mm -hmm. So when I saw him, I knew this is what God has called me to do. To pray for him and stand with him, support him, love him, until I see that vision coming to pass. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. wow, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Ish. That's powerful, man. Eh? Ish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure, she's been yeah. a great pillar. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, you can't say that uh, marriage is not about one person. 
it's two people, mm. you know, mm. thinking alike, working together, praying together, one another. complimenting one another. Yeah. Yes, and that's that's why we are here. Yeah. I mean, we, we can say ten years down the line. And I know mm -hmm. there are people who've gone up to 40, you know, 50. Like when we, we went for a uh, second honeymoon. Yeah. First. Is it first yes, or second? second honeymoon. Second honeymoon, you did. So that's the same year, just three months after our wedding. Yes, okay. we went to Mombasa. And then the first, the, the, the couple that came to say hi to us, same in the same hotel, they were celebrating their 50. 50th yes. anniversary. 50th anniversary. Yes. And here we are. Our uh, first. You go first, yeah? Yes. Go first and they looked marriage. at us, they talked first to us, and they give, they, they give us hope. They told us it's possible. Yeah. And we purposed. Imagine. We, so they, said, we looked at them and yeah. said, if you've come here yes. at 50, yeah. Yeah. even us. Even yeah. us. And, yes. and, and, and there's something that you mentioned, and after the break, we shall actually explore that. One in your marriage, you almost were like, hey. <laughs> hey, you know, like what, what is happening over here? Mm. So after the break, ladies and gentlemen, we shall explore that. And this gentleman who sang for his wife during the wedding day, hey, here's a surprise for her after the break. We have a segment called Ask Dan where you, the viewer, get to write to me questions about relationships and marriage and I get to answer. Today's question comes from a wife and she writes, Dear Dan, my husband doesn't call me sweet names. No baby, no sweetheart. Does he love me? The thing is this, it's wonderful to be called these names. Eh? First of all, look at how your husband treats you. Look at how he treats you. Not every single person is going to be ex affectionate in terms of their words and their names, sweetheart, sweetheart baby, hand. But the problem is, if they're not calling you, then they're calling another person. That is where there's a problem. But if they're not calling another person and they're loving you, then look at their actions. And if you want to be called baby, honey, sweetheart, communicate this to him. You know what? I'd love it if you actually call me this. And for those who are married in a relationship, learn to call these sweet names to your partner because it makes them feel special. It affirms them that you love them. If you have any questions about relationships and marriage that you need me to answer, feel free to write me on triple one, triple four, triple one. Hey, hey. Oh, you look so perfect to me. One thing that I know is that God was right in the middle of every step of the way. Wow. Me, me, no way, way. Every step of the way. Me, me now, eh, eh, eh. Your smile is so beautiful like the morning stars. Your heart is so tender. Me na zidi kukupenda. Oh, kukupenda mo. Oh, kukupenda. Wow, hey. you two are beautiful. Kukupenda mo. <laughs> Look at that Tony Cruz, yeah. you're making your wife cry on TV, <laughs> you're making your wife cry on TV, how do you feel, how do you feel Carol? Oh my. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just feeling overwhelmed, emotional. I just love this guy very, very much, um, for sure. God just made, I don't know, I can't even know how God just brought us together. And yeah, wow. I love you, babe. Love you forever. <laughs> and I love you, baby. Yeah. Wow, that is beautiful, that is beautiful. Now, to go back to that one moment where you almost mm -hmm. felt like this is our rock bottom. Yeah. What happened? <sighs> Not to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so about eight months after we got married, uh, we lost our first child. And um, we were looking forward. We were looking forward to being the first baby. We were looking forward. But um, within one week of um, getting to know, I, I think when she just, he turned eight months old, I was eight months pregnant. And then now uh, the doctor said it was either to save my life or the baby, because the baby got a, a cardiac arrest in my womb. And so um, at that moment, we just felt like uh, 
we just needed to get this baby and the baby was born alive but he came and passed away later on but grief hit us so hard and I can say I grieved for two years I withdrew I withdrew I wasn't talking much and my husband um, I think we la we grieved uh, differently yeah so how did you feel like you grieved I, th I think we're, it was a hard time for us and uh I, I, I didn't know where to turn to. Of course, there was God, but somehow you felt like God has let you down because uh, it was going on very well until all of a sudden this happens. And uh, so to me, I'm the outgoing one yeah. here in this relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Hash is the laid back type. Mm -hmm. And so I started going to my friends, you know, talking to my friends so much. and not knowing that that's the time that we needed to be together so much. You mm. know? And so, uh, me and my best days, I would mm. come home. So you would spend more time with, with, with other friends. people. Other people. And me, I withdrew. And you withdrew. Yes. 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 And so that brought about some conflict. Conflict. Yeah. Yeah. And then here you are today. Yes. <laughs> and you mentioned that prayer has been a very important mm -hmm. uh, part mm -hmm. of your marriage. Yeah? Yes. So there are some two cards, decoded cards in front of you. Mm -hmm. I'll ask each of you to just lift up yours. Yes. And read what you wrote to each other. By the way, you I told them to write something for each other. So please pick it up. Now, you read, I'll, give you, like, I'll give you a few seconds. All right. Yes. Uh -huh. You've read it? Yes. Uh, okay. So those are prayer, that's a prayer request. Mm -hmm. You know, you made a prayer request to him and you made a prayer request to her. Mm -hmm. So I'll ask you to hold each other's hands mm -hmm. and then you pray. First time on Decoded, we shall see a couple pray. <laughs> okay? Wow. Oh, uh. Just for a few seconds. I can stand. I stand. Yes, please. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you. And I give you praise for my wife. Thank you, Father, because of a jewel that you've given me, O oh God. This is a pure gift from heaven, and I appreciate her. I pray that you help me love her. Help me stand with her. Help me be the best father, O oh God, for our children. Be the best partner for her, O oh God. And that our relationship, O oh God, will be in sync in the name of Jesus, that as we draw closer to one to you, O oh God, we'll be drawing closer to one another. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Father, I want to thank you for the priest you've given me in my husband. <laughs> thank you, Father God, for your blessings, O oh God. I pray that he will continue loving you, O oh God, because it's as he loves you, he'll get to love me, O oh God. Mm. And I pray that God, our Father, he'll be able to serve you and be the best husband ever in Jesus' name. Mm. I thank you, Lord God, for all you've done for us. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, Carol, I'll, I'll have to say this. Uh, Tony asks uh, that he can be excused mm -hmm. from the show. So, Tony, I can excuse you. No. you can, yeah, it's okay. You can just go. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you want to have a strong marriage, why don't you consider praying together? In those tough times, consider praying together. As a husband, as a wife, consider praying together, okay? Well, if you are a dating or a married couple and you'd like to be part of this particular show, feel free to reach us on triple one, triple four, triple one, or through our social media handle. Before we conclude this show, is something special is about to happen. Lots of people say that Kenyan men don't know how to love. Today, we will prove to you. <laughs> oh, <babe>. oh. <laughs> Today, you people have gotten me. I'm so emotional. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is for you. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Just have it, baby. Oh. I love you. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Mm. <laughs> I love you. Bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> so emotional. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is beautiful. This is love. This issue has been decoded. <laughs>